We played hide and seek for hours, raised our shadows among the pines. So offshore, play fall and free, without a care in the world. I was one rich little girl. Back all the way back to the day, running around in a gown and a crown, barefoot. We just got back from our local farm stand, and I'm going to show you my little haul here. All of our meals this week is going to be based off of most of what we have in this haul and then I'm gonna go back they have a few things that can sit in our air quote cellar and I think that it would last us the whole winter so I got some new white rice I said in a previous video that white rice lasts longer than brown rice and we were running low I have some dried beans garbanzo beans lentils and black beans and then that farm stand was out but I get my pinto beans from there um, my town's uh, pretty well known for their pinto beans so here are some veggies i got a bell pepper i got the red i got two onions i got some cabbage as well as some organic broccoli i got some gold potatoes and red potatoes for soups and stews this week and then i did end up getting some beets i really love beets i'm gonna do a roasted root vegetable salad with some quinoa i really enjoy that with some balsamic I have some fresh garlic, and then I found some Grenada plums. Uh, they're pretty rare, and I'm really excited to try those out. I have some tomatillos for homemade salsa. I have some cucumber here, as well as some beefsteak organic tomatoes. And then I have some Macintosh apples. You know I love those. And some pears. And then I have watermelon from the garden that I need to cut up. So I'm going to wash everything off and do what I need to do to prep these for the week. And then I will go in and show you our meal prep for the week. And if you have time, stick around. We are going to do a crock pot dinner and I'm really excited to share it with you. Okay, so Wilder is watching a show and I'm going to attempt to look through the shelves, see what we have, and then I'm gonna make the meal plan and go from there. So I'm just trying to spend as minimal as possible. And we got all that stuff from the farmer's market and I think we're gonna be okay. We have meat in the freezer if we need it, but um, I honestly don't think we'll need anything. So I'm gonna check in the pantry here and show you what we got. Okay, so good on the top. We have quite a few things. We have refried beans, black beans, and carrots. We have flour, out the wazoo, salsa. There's honey up there. We don't really use honey that often. Um, and then in here, we have those lentils. We have tuna, chili, canned chicken, chicken noodle soup. Over here is our peanut butter stock. We have some sauerkraut and some petite diced tomatoes and black beans so i'll probably make some sort of chili we do have that kind of pasta sauce from the dollar tree yeah the dollar tree not the dollar general and then we have some more veggies um this is my husband really likes the wolf brand chili with beans um it has a lot of calories and like 31 grams of protein so yeah and then down here we have all of <laughs> this looks good right sorry um <laughs> we have all of the noodles coconut water we have some of these soup bases so definitely make something out of that but the goal is to make a little bit of room for some more stock ups kroger's having their big can sale here coming up so pretty excited about that but i'm gonna write this meal plan out and i will get right back with you and then i was just double checking in here i didn't move all my cans over the pantry so this is more of the Ready go box stuff. We have that cheeseburger skillet. We have two of those. Uh, let's see, uh, 23, so that's good. Okay, and then we have the Hungry Jack potatoes. We have couscous, a lot of risotto and things like that. So something we can make with that. All right, I have gone through everything in the shelf and I have created some meals based around that. The only groceries we need are going to be a block of cheese, some bananas for breakfast and some plant butter um, and regular butter as well because we eat both so 
The veggie chowder that you are about to see, I'm going to use the leftovers and put them over baked potatoes because I have some bacon to crumble. Um, and then we'll just do like sour cream. Oh, sorry about that. We're gonna do sour cream and cheese and all like the baked potato fixings on there. And then on Tuesday, we're gonna have green chili, mac and cheese, some baked barbecue chicken and some spinach apple salad with homemade balsamic and some garbanzo beans. On Wednesday, I'm gonna need to prep some ground beef. I'll probably do that tonight. And we're gonna do some chili in bread bowls. I always like to go to Panera and get the sourdough bread bowls. They're $1.79. I'm just gonna get two of those um, in the drive-thru probably today or tomorrow. And then on the side, we're just gonna do some cornbread, green chili cornbread with some maple butter. And then on Thursday, we're gonna have po' boys. I'm gonna do um, everyone's with shrimp. We have some shrimp in the freezer to use up. And then I'm gonna use hearts of palm. And I'm gonna serve it with some pierogies and some sort of veggie, probably green beans or peas or broccoli. On Friday, we're gonna have a sushi night. I'm gonna do salmon in a can for everybody else. I just mix that with cream cheese and put some cucumber avocado in there and some white or brown rice. Then I'm gonna make crab rangoons. I did air quote that because I'm going to be using hearts of palm, the, half, the other half of the can that I didn't use for uh, the po' boys. So that's what we're gonna have on Friday. That's always a fun one. And then on Saturday, we're gonna do some root veggies on a sheet pan with quinoa. And um, down the road, they are selling venison. If you uh, didn't know, my I grew up with hunting in the family. So um, we did eat a lot of deer growing up and I respect um, hunting. I just could never do it myself. Uh, so we did find some local venison and we have Colorado mule deer out here, so that's what they're gonna use. Um, there's also elk as well, but um, we just stuck with the deer venison this time. And then on Sunday, we're just gonna do some leftovers, and that is the meal plan for the week. It's pretty easy. Like I said, I'm not gonna really need anything. I just shopped what I had in my shelves, and that saves us um, a couple of extra hundred dollars a month, so yay for shelf cooking. It is Sunday, so that means the refrigerator has been cleaned out and I'm gonna make something in the crock pot. I'm gonna make like a chowder or my take on like broccoli cheddar soup, except for it's non-dairy and it has other veggies in here. So in here, I cut up some of the broccoli from the farmer's market, carrot and some Anaheim pepper. I'm gonna do a splash of vinegar in there and some water just to clean it all the way through. I have these two random onions. I'm gonna throw that in there. I'm gonna throw maybe two cups of uh, this in there. So two little squirts of the concentrate and then 16 ounces of water. And then I'm gonna throw in some oat milk here as well as the rest of these dairy-free cheeses and cook it low and slow with a golden potato that I'm gonna dice up. So let me show you how I put that together.
After I blended that, I let it sit in the crock pot for around an hour and I served it with some homemade rosemary crackers. They were super delicious. If you want me to share that recipe, I absolutely will. This is one of those meals where don't judge a book by its cover. I know it doesn't look the most appetizing, but it is full of flavor. Okay, y'all, I am going to end the video here. I really hope you enjoyed all of today's content. As always, stay adventurous, stay creative. I'll see you next time, y'all. Bye.